we are now going to work on the top face of this fancy cube. I'm going to create a new document. This is going to be top face. And let's take a look at the instructions. Looks like we've got some initials in the center here. Uh, those initials are going to be your initials, not the school district's initials. So you're going to need to change those to your letters. Um, the size of the rectangle is 1.75 by 1.75. The depth of this is 0.25. You can see that right here. The letters are extruded 0.25, so they don't come out very far at all. And then we have some holes in here that are going to be 0.2, not 0.25, but 0.2. And they're 0.15 from the top, and it looks like they are on the center line. So let's see if we can create this guy now. I'm going to start with our sketch. We want it on the front plane because that's where we're working. Even though it's the top, it's okay. We're going to work on the front plane. We're going to start with a rectangle. And we're going to draw that outside rectangle. 1.75, enter. 1.75, enter. And there's my top rectangle. Green check mark. Extrude choose that shape. Let's go and make it isometric. And I'm going to change it to point 25. There's my front plane. Okay, so now I'm going to draw the circles. Those two circles and extrude them away, remove them. I'm going to start with a line going down the center. I'm going to come over here and find the center points on this top line. There's the center point, and if I zoom in, you can see there's a dot, and it also shows up as a line with a dot in the middle. That means center point. So I'm going to click there, and then I'm going to go down to the bottom, and I'm going to line up on that center point also. You can see, you can find it by moving your mouse back and forth until you find it. Click, and now that line is guaranteed to be going straight up and down right on the center. I'm going to draw my two circles. These circles are pretty small. Do them on the line. I'm going to click and then I'm going to type 0.2. I didn't use move my mouse. I didn't do anything. I just typed do the same thing down at the bottom here. Click, draw my circle, click, and I'm going to type 0.2 and it will dimension it to the correct size. Now I am going to need to dimension, take my dimension tool, and from the center dot to the top line of the rectangle, move it across, and this needs to be 0.15. Same thing on the bottom, exactly the same. It's going to be 0.15. I'm going to green check mark. I'm going to extrude. I'm going to choose my four pieces, let's change it to isometric so we can see it, the four pieces of these circles. And then I want to change, not the depth, I'm going to change it to remove. And it should cut holes instead of adding to it, it will remove them. And there's the holes. If I go back to front view, they are cut through in the middle. All right. So, Last one, we're going to write our initials on it, choose our sketch, choose this main plane, go back to front view. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. This time I'm going to use the text tool. I can draw that text box in here, but it's going to get in the way. So I'm going to do the text box over here. I don't want it to get all in the way. I'm going to go ahead and type what I want here. I'm going to put Mr. Oop. Mr. K, green check mark, and you'll notice it's really, really big. If I grab this guy and move him, he's really way too big to fit onto this shape. So I need to dimension it. I'm going to dimension the distance from uh, the top to the bottom. So I'm going to grab this side here and I'm going to mention it at 0.5. And then, if I take this 
it's locked in and it's not letting me oh it's because i'm in the dimension tool now i should be able to grab him and move him into here and you can see it's a much better fit so i'm going to oops let me see if i can grab this guy and move him in there we go i'm going to now dimension from the corner to the top of the square and this is going to be 0.625 and that 0.625 the reason for that is 625 plus 625 at the bottom equals point or plus 0.5 equals 1.75 so I've centered it going up and down now the last piece is is I need to center this line into the middle of my shape to do that I'm going to use the coincidence tool I'm going to click on the line in the center of my initials and then I'm going to go click on that center point for this line, that center point. And it will move it over and lock it in going up and down. Green check mark. I can change it back to isometric so I can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to extrude. I want to extrude my letters. now. If you make a mistake and you click not on the letter, but on something, it looks like it's you're choosing it, but you click on that white face, it's going to uh, extrude out everything except for the letters. I didn't like that. I'm going to click on this X here, and that way it goes away. Let me choose my letters. I want to click, and I want to be on the line of the letters. Okay, you can choose individual ones. If you move your mouse and it will choose individual ones but I just want to be on all of them so I'm gonna click on the line of one of the letters and it will extrude all of them I want the depth to be 0.25 and green check mark and that's not too bad I'm kind of pleased with that if I use my arrow keys you can rotate it around and kind of see what it looks like using the arrow keys come back to isometric and now I'm going to color it two finger click edit appearance I want the appearance to be oh I don't know let's try green this time it doesn't matter what colors they are uh, green check mark and then I want to add a second color and that second color is going to be for my initials and I'm going to come down here to this extrusion, click on the word extrusion three, and it will change the color of all the letters at the same time. That way I don't have to keep moving around and choosing all the different sides. Green check mark, close it out, take a picture of it and turn it in. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, the top face.